value of real number x is denoted by step x or box x. So, it is the notation for greatest integral value of x. The greatest integral value of x is denoted by this symbol. So, obviously, a function of the form f of x equal to step x is said to be a greatest integer function, which we are going to discuss it later. So, but let us first of all know about the properties of the greatest integral function, of greatest integral value of the variable. So, what is this greatest integral value of the variable? We have seen already the absolute value of a real variable, same a real number, and same way we are going to see about what is the greatest integral value of a real number. So, for which we need to go with the definition. The greatest integral value of variable is nothing but is a greatest integer value of a real number is is the greatest integer greatest integer less than or equal to the given number that is if x is lying between two numbers such that n is less than or equal to x less than n plus 1, then the step value of x, the greatest integral value of x is going to be equal to n. So, the definition would be clear by taking some example. So, the greatest integer value of x is the uh, greatest integral value of x is n, but the greatest integer less than or equal to the given number. Say let us go through some example. Say for example, I want to find the greatest integral value of say 5.3. So, the greatest integral value of this real number 5.3 I need to find it. So, let us go ahead with the number line. Now, we know that the number 5.3 lies between the integers 5 and 6 on the number line. So, I will mark the integers 5 and 6 and 5.3 will be somewhere in between 5 and 6. Now, as per the definition, as per the definition, whenever the number lies between n and n plus 1 that is like 5 and 6, that the step value of x is the greatest negative value of x is going to be equal to n. That means here the greatest integer. So, as per the definition, the greatest integral value of 5.3 is the greatest integer, is the greatest integer less than that number. So, you will have many integers less than this number, you will have many integers less than this number, you will have many integers less than this number. Among all these integers, the greatest integer is going to be 5. So, the greatest integer less than or equal to that number is going to be 5. So, step value of 5.3 is going to be 5. So, the greatest integral value of a real number is the greatest integer, is the greatest integer among all the numbers that are less than the given number. So, 5.3 below 5.3 we have got many numbers, among them the greatest one is going to be greatest integer is going to be 5. So, the value of this is going to be 5. As a reason we can say if any number lies between n and n plus 1, the greatest integral value of x is going to be equal to n. So, here 5.3 is lying between 5 and 6. 5.3 is lying between 5 and 6. So, the greatest integral value of 5.3 is equal to the number 5 or the n. So, so, instead of going ahead always what you need to do is pick the number that is to the left hand side of that number on the number line. So, a simple tip is mark the number on the number line and identify that integer which is exactly to the left of this number. So, that will give you the greatest integral value of the function of the number. So, now let us check for some other example say what is the greatest integral value of say minus 5.3. So, you have to be very careful when you are going with the negative numbers. So, minus 5.3 lies between what numbers? Minus 5.3 lies between minus 5 and minus 6 observe carefully minus 5.3 lies between 
minus 5 and minus 6. So what is the greatest integer less than or equal to that number? So you'll have many numbers or many integers less than this number, but among all the numbers, what is the greatest integer he is nothing but minus 6. So the greatest integral value of minus 5.3 is minus 6. So whenever the number is going to be a positive number, then the integral value of it is going to be an answer. If whenever the number is a negative number, you need to add minus 1 to the integral part to get the integral value. So let's follow the small tips. In case if the number is going to be a positive number, the integral value is going to be your answer. If the number is a negative number, take that integral value and add a minus 1 that gives you the integral value. Let's apply this logic here. We get say I want integral value of 4.2 because the number is a positive number, the integral value of it itself gives you the answer is going to be 4. If, if you got a negative number, say what we do is take the integral part of the number and add a minus 1 that is minus 4 minus 1 gives you minus 5. So a value of it is going to be minus 5. So if you are confused, you can go ahead with a number line or if you remember, can remember the tip here, you can get the answer directly. So here I have done this, I have given you explanation about how to get the integral value of a real number. And the most important point is in case if I am going to find the step value of some integer that is integral greatest integral value of some integer say minus 5 as I told you as I told you whenever whenever minus 5 whenever minus 5 whenever the number is going to be a integer the step value of it is going to be itself that is the greatest integral value if the number is going to be equal to the given number the number it's a step of the number is going to be equal to the number itself so here if i observe minus 5 so minus 5 actually does not lie between any numbers but here if i imagine that number x is lying between minus 5 and 6 i can write it like this so step value of x is going to be equals to minus 5 sorry minus 5 and 6 here is going to continue like lagging between like minus 5 and 4 minus 5 and minus 4 so it's lagging between minus 5 and uh, 4 the answer is going to be the value is going to lie between minus 5 and minus 4 so the value of step x is going to be equal to minus 5 so whenever actually instead of remembering all these things you can simply remember that if whenever the value of x is going to be integer whenever the value is going to be integer step of that factor value is going to be the remain same so integral value of plus 5 is going to be equal to 5 and step value of uh, minus 4 is going to be equal to minus 4 the step value of minus 3 is going to be equal to minus 3 so whenever the integer is a number given to you there the integrated integral value of the number is going to be remain same so here we have discussed about some examples based upon the greatest integral value of a real number x. Now let us see some properties of the greatest integral value of a real number. So we'll go with the properties of properties of greatest integral value of a real number x. So properties of step x. So for that, the first property is just now we have seen the greatest integral value of x remain as x if x is going to be a integer. Just now we have seen the greatest integral value of any integer is going to remain same as integer itself whenever x is going to be an integer and the second property is that here if uh, I take say greatest integral value of x plus i so if I can express that number as x plus some integer then it is equal to greatest integral value of x plus i so whatever real number I take x here where i is going to be the integer where i is an integer so how can I, uh, let me just go through some example of it. Say for example, I want a greatest integral value of say 
5.3 we have already done it the greatest integral value of 5.3 is going to be equals to 5 so if i apply the property here if i can express it as x plus some integer so if i can express it as say 0 plus 0 0.3 plus 5 or i can write as some 1.3 plus 4 or i can write it as say 2.3 plus 2 in that way what i do it so it comes into the property of x plus i where x is can be any real number where i is going to be strictly an integer here i is going to be an integer so i can apply in such a case i can apply the property here step x plus i that means because i is an integer here because these are integers i can apply as step of 0 0.3 plus the integer side or here step of 1.3 plus integer side or step of 2.3 plus integer side as we already know the step value of 0 0.3 is going to be equal to 0 as i told you whenever the number is a positive number take its integral value is going to be 0 so 0 plus 5 is going to be equal to 5 the greatest integral value of 1.3 because it's a positive number the greatest integral value of 1.3 is 1 so 1 plus 4 is also equals to 5 the same way it is also greatest integral value of 2.3 which is a positive number if it's a positive number take its integral part the integral part is going to be here 2.3 sorry 2.3 plus 3 2.3 plus 3 gives you 5.3 so 2.3 plus 3 it is so here we get integral value greatest integral value of 2.3 is going to be 2 so 2 plus 3 is going to be equal to 5 so whatever it may be either step value of 5.3 can be written in any one of these forms by applying this property we can get it as the same the same result so whenever we can write the step of x plus i where i is integer then simply we can send i to the outside of the bracket and you can take the step value of the uh, integral part or the, the real number what is the remainder so this is what the second property is now coming for the third property here onwards we are going to see about how to solve step uh, greatest integral value equations and in equations before we have seen absolute value equations and in equations now same way i'm going to say about how can you solve for a uh, greatest integral value equation so here if i take step of x is equals to a 